My name is Jessica Little and I'm a born and raised Londoner. So the last few years, my clients have been asking me like if I knew a good tradesperson and I was just like, well, my, my dad is one, but he's just always so busy. So I decided I wanted to help my clients in the local community by finding and showcasing so kind, honest, trustworthy trades, people with accountability and prices that match their work. This is Trade Talk. On this week's episode of Trade Talk, I'm going to be speaking with Simon from Fader Design Construct. Hey, Simon, how's it going? Good, yourself? Good. Good. So originally why I started this show is to bring good people doing good work to the community. So my brother had recommended Simon and he actually has known Simon for a long time. So uh, I just thought I'd uh, introduce him to the community and you can kind of tell us how you got started. Maybe. Yeah, that's great. No, thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've sort of been in construction uh, one way or another for pretty much my whole working life. Yeah. Um, I started out uh, on a framing crew. Um, we did some uh, cottages in Grand Bend. Yeah. That was when I was sort of like, you know, 16 through 18 before yeah. university, like summers uh, during high school. And I really fell in love with it. Um, so when I, w when I w went away to school, I realized, you know, that I was missing it so much and missing the camaraderie of the guys. And yeah. so eventually I sort of made that my career. Um, so I worked for a number of other companies um, over the years and then I was working, uh, doing a lot of side work through a numbered company. And then when COVID hit, I realized, okay, this is sort of my opportunity to yeah. make it official, go out on my own, uh, like crew up, get a, a bunch of good people around me and, yeah. uh, you know, start Fader Design Construct. So, yeah, because you've been yeah. doing all that stuff for a while, so you knew how to yeah. kind of do project management. Definitely, and all that kind definitely. Of stuff. Yeah, and I, okay. I took business at school. I was so just going to ask you what you took. Okay, yeah, so that exactly. helps a lot. Yeah, then. definitely. So, yeah. no, it's like it's been uh, it's been amazing. Really, we've done some really cool projects with uh, with a lot of great people, and we've got to partner with some uh, some pretty fantastic customers on some some projects, and we've had. Pretty phenomenal results. So yeah, yeah, it's been great. So what? So you do? Do you do commercial and residential? You do we're, house yeah, flip stuff. We're, we're probably about ninety percent residential. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and we do a lot of different things, and a lot of it's based on seasonality. So okay. in the summer, yeah. the guys like to be outside, sort of building decks and fences and things like that. But yeah. we also do like full scale renovations. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this house that we're in right now. Yeah basically uh, is a flip. Um, so there's a really cool company called uh, Steer Properties and we're, we partnered with them to take on this flip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna ask you about like with your own other projects, like you have sub trades that like people you deal with, like yeah. electricians and plumbers and exactly. stuff. Exactly, and what what's great is working consistently with the same trades, right? Yeah. So when we take on a project, it's really a team effort, yeah. right? Like I work with uh, Noble Electrical and I work with DLP Plumbing and they follow us kind of from job to job. Yeah. And it just really makes the whole process streamlined. Yeah. I mean, when, you've, when you're working with trades that you've never worked with before, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it, it can get difficult. Yeah, I know my dad's a contractor. Is so, he? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, right from young age, I know how that all works. For so it's sure. hard to find, like, reliable people. So once 100%. you get your people, you're like, okay. I'll yeah, you want to lock them in, right? Yeah. You want to keep everybody busy, yeah. everybody happy. And, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely helps. So you have a, a few of your own employees, and then you do, like, the subcontracting with some of yeah, those Yeah, so we've got a couple of crews of guys, and mm -hmm. we're, we've got carpenters, we've got general laborers, okay. uh, you know, guys that do drywall, uh, things like that. Um, and then we sub out like HVAC, we sub out plumbing, we sub okay. out electrical, and then basically our company project manages. Oh, okay. Yeah. So jobs. do you do a lot of the managing of it, but you also do the, the work of it too? Like. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, I certainly did a yeah. lot more work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you phase into like I think the I, you know, I probably work harder now, yeah. but just in very well, you got sort of so many more ways. things like yeah. to juggle. Right? I know, fire. I've had my own business for like five yeah. years, so I know all about it. Yeah. <laughs> Too many things to juggle, but it's worth it though, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, it's really, uh, it's really rewarding. And I think, you know, when you walk around this property, you'll kind of see, you'll get an yeah. idea of, of what, uh, what we do. And uh, certainly when you see the before pictures as well, You'll, you'll realize there's quite
quite the transformation. I'm excited to walk around because like I did host a few house flips with my dad. Oh, okay. And ever since I was young, like, you know, I've done all this kind of stuff. So I understand houses. That's a lot of the reason why I started this is because I understand all this kind of stuff. And I like, I love talking construction. Like I'm real curly, but I like this <laughs> whole construction thing. So, so do you, are, do you want to stick with residential or like in the next 10 years, do you want to do add some commercial or like, what is your, your goals like for kind of going forward? Cause you started during COVID, right? Right. Yeah, yeah we did. That's when I, when I, you know, hired my first few employees yeah. during COVID and we, we've sort of grown. Um, and then we kind of swell in the summers because we've got a lot of uh, outdoor work and we, you yeah. know, have students and things like that. And then we shrink down to sort of the leaner main crew of guys through okay. the winter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my basic plan with it is I don't want to just grow for the sake of growing. I don't want the company to become uh, too big. I want to keep mm -hmm. Uh, the same uh, community and the same sort of like team atmosphere that we have now. So I want to protect that. So, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll grow uh, as we need to, but I'm not, you know, I don't have an idea in my mind where we have to have 20 employees or 50 employees or mm -hmm. things like that. So right now we're, we're very boutique um, and we, we get to be very selective with the jobs that we take on and the people that we work with. That's exactly what my business is like too. Is it? Yeah, because I, I do really good work and kind work and I like I like to build relationships. So that's the most important thing is like, not just the work you do, but it's the relationships that you Definitely. And, and your accountability, getting back to people. Because a lot of people um, don't do that. And that's the reason why I've been wanting to showcase these people. Because all my clients are asking me like, who, who, can I, who can I talk to? And I thought, I need to start like figuring all these people out. So for my clients and then for like, the general public too so that's good yeah yeah 100%. i mean and i trust my brother and i've heard lots of good things about you so that's good and yeah i've known him a long time yeah and yeah. the homeowner is here that you did the, the flip yep, for so you got a good relationship so that's good yeah no yeah. it's been uh it's it's been great yeah. yeah and so on your off time you climb mountains sometimes i do yeah i uh <laughs> I have to throw that in yeah. it's, it's really neat. It, it's, part, it's part of showcasing your personality sure. and like, I don't know, I think it's cool. Yeah, no, I, I climb mountains, play rugby. I've played rugby my entire life. So yeah. since I was about four years old, I've played okay. and yeah, not as competitively as I used to, but I still get out and mix it up now and again. But yeah, yeah mountain climbing is something that, you know, it's, it's funny. It's was kind of like a dream when you're, when you're a little boy, right? Yeah. Like you see a big mountain and want to climb it so it's i've been very fortunate to actually get to to yeah. do a few of them and hopefully we get to do a few more what was did you do my brother did mount kilimanjaro did yeah you do yeah so that was our first so we're so oh. basically it's the seven summits oh. so it's the highest mountain in each of the seven continents oh and so far yeah so far we've checked kilimanjaro off the list which is in africa yeah and then we've done aconcagua which is the highest mountain in the americas yeah. but it's in argentina yeah, my brother told me about that. Yeah. He said he was really sick, but he still got yeah, through it all. Was, oh, yeah. my God. I couldn't imagine. I think he got sick just before that. But. Yeah, and I was sick on the first one. So oh. we kind of, you know, help each other out. And, oh. But, yeah. That's like the human condition, though. It's like toughing it out. <laughs> yeah, it's just exactly. like with business, too. Like, I have my own business. So you have to tough it. When you first start, there's a lot of, like, things that, that happen, and you have to tough it out. You have to have a thick skin to have your own business, too, like, to learn new things and grow. And we, we make mistakes, and we scrape our knee, and we get back up, and we flourish. So you're at that flourishing spot, and, you know, you've got your good customers. So that's cool. It's a cool, cool place to be. It is a good spot to be. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it was a huge learning curve, oh, yeah. right? Oh, Owning, dear. starting your own business from scratch. Um, there's just so much that uh, you need to know. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, when they start out in the trades, um, they kind of go through cycles. So all of a sudden, once they become proficient at a trade, they think, oh, well, I mean, how much is somebody making off of my labor, yeah. right? So they try and go out on their own, um, but they you know, might be proficient in a certain trade, but that doesn't necessarily make them good at running the business yeah right so it's sort of a combination of the two it's everything and people coming just from business trying to start companies in the trades don't necessarily have the practical experience yeah so. you need to have both like you have to know how to run a project about the accounting or, or at least outsourcing that like there's a whole bunch of things that you can either do uh, in the beginning and then once you get like bigger you can outsource all those things right you know those are the things i learned i try to do everything by myself you know well in the I, beginning everybody just wears you know when they start well, out on yeah. their own a million different hats oh well, yeah so but that's what makes you like so good as a business owner later on because i went through all of those like hiccups <laughs> i'm like when i look back at where i was then uh, yeah i was so stressed out but now i'm just like 
like I still have a lot of like things I have to do, but it's just like more streamlined and I and more manageable. Yeah, because yeah, you've been there before. And I only accept like there's some people I won't accept because I just want happy and har harmony in my life. <laughs> like you know, it's good when you have good relationships. So like you said, you're able to choose choose the people they choose you, and you have good well, relationships. That's been a huge part of it is getting to choose the customers that we want to work with. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah. know, we we all the time realize that things aren't a great fit, and we. You know, we don't take on the work because yeah. when we, we take on the work, we see it to completion, right? Yeah. So we don't want to start something and not finish. We would never do that. Um, but yeah. some jobs, you know, when you go to quota, you realize, okay, this, yeah. pro this probably isn't our customer. No. This probably isn't the job that we want to take on. And, yeah. you know, so we, we get to be selective, which is nice. It's a nice luxury well, to yeah, have, right? Yeah, because they, people want to trust you. You want to trust them. And it's all about trust and communication in any kind of relationship. So yeah. for sure, yeah, it's no different when you're, you know, yeah. in a relationship yeah. with a family, a customer, friends, yeah. Or, yeah, no communications, massive. Yeah. yeah, well, that's good. Well, like there's some guys, like you said, are amazing at trades, but like communicating with customers, getting the jobs, like being professional, it's like that's a harder hat to wear. So you got both. And a lot of my brother's friends do have that. They've got the professionalism, plus they're really good at like their job. So that's that's cool. Yeah. And I'm very fortunate to have great people around me. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have. um a company if I didn't have phenomenal people working for me, yeah. you know, an excellent bookkeeper, you know, my foreman is amazing. And yeah, yeah. it's, it's not just me by any means. It's, yeah. you know, I may be the face of it, but it really is a team effort. It is. I know. Cause I have like people that I was like, I'm just like, I used to do my own web design and my own accounting. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> like it'll take me till three in the morning to figure out how to do something that someone could do like an hour. So yeah, I know yeah. it's nice when you have a good team and like, it's like everybody's heart you know, has harmony within the workplace and stuff. Yeah, That's and like doing. there's certain things that for sure I could do. That doesn't mean I should do them. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I used to stay up like late trying to learn how to do like the back end of my website and I was just like, okay, I know this. So if I hire somebody, I know what they, they are and are not doing, but I don't need to be doing this. Right, you need to know enough <laughs> to hold people accountable. But yeah, yeah I've spent a lot of time, yeah. you know, trying to figure out AutoCAD, oh, you gosh. know, on my computer. I'm like, you know what, this, I could do this, but... I probably shouldn't. But you have an idea of it, so like yeah. you kind of you, you can kind of hang with hang with the person that's <laughs> doing it. But yeah. yeah. Okay, so I guess what we'll do now is we're in this beautiful home that your customer let us, uh, you know, showcase today, and it's a house flip. So uh, you can kind of I guess run us through this whole house and yeah, hundred percent. Tell us what you did, so, like. Uh, yeah. Sorry. To yeah. Interrupt you. Um, oh, no, so you this um, what's fortunate about this place that we're in right now is we are uh, it's up for sale. So yeah. I know they've got a couple of offers, yeah. um, but because of it, it's beautifully staged. So another one of our, our partner companies is Moffitt Grace Design. Um, this uh, girl named Tori, who's a really good friend of mine, staged the whole place. Okay. And that's, you know, in part why it looks I know. so phenomenal. This was a perfect place for yeah. us to film. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being here. Alrighty, so we're going to be starting in the living room with this flip house that we've done in St. Thomas here. So I'm just going to let Simon take over because he knows what's up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so this, I mean, the, this house uh, looked very different when we first got here. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing we did was basically have to gut out most of the uh, upstairs and basement. Um, there was a lot of smoke damage in here. Uh, and we wanted it to feel more open concept. Okay. So in a lot of these old homes, it feels very tight and sort of like, you know, compartmentalized, right, yeah. with the rooms. Um, that's not really what people want now. Yeah. People want more expansive spaces. They want to uh, just have a better flow. Yeah. So that, you know, we, we keyed on a few things right away to, to make it feel like that. So yeah. um, in this room in particular, um, there was a, a wall here and we opened that up so that the living room, dining room, kitchen space kind of feels like one and the same. I was just going to ask that. I figured you'd, you'd move some walls around. Yeah. Because yeah. I know how these old homes are going to design. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, cool. there's a staircase that we didn't want to get into. I mean, okay. this is a, a flip. So we didn't want uh, certain things we... Oh, like load-bearing walls or like yeah, staircases. Yeah, exactly. Didn't we want didn't to get really get much. into that. Okay, but yeah. there were some walls that we did take out that weren't load-bearing okay, that good. really helped with, with the yeah. flow. Yeah. Yeah. So now you've got sort of that line of sight, right? You come in the front door, you've got a direct line to the, yeah. to the back door. And now you can easily like see the, the dining room space and you start to see the kitchen and it, it just feels yeah. more... 
more like one giant room as opposed to a whole yeah when i walked in rooms. here i was like this is done really well because i i, I had a feeling kind of what you did yeah there. thank so you very much done really well yeah and even like you've done different kind of moldings i see and you know yeah. like pot lights i see a lot well. of the stuff i mean we um what was great is the customers sort of gave us uh, a bit of free reign oh, okay. in terms of the the design of it yeah. so i mean if you came in some of our other properties you would see a lot of the same colors a lot of the same uh, casings, baseboards. We we tend to do. Uh, yeah. This is sort of our style, I guess. It's like your niche because like, you know what looks good and it's exactly. classy, right? Exactly. Okay. And sometimes you know, going to the customer and asking a whole bunch of different questions and getting them to pick and make different selections yeah. isn't an optimal way to go. I mean, if you get it all out of the way in the beginning, that's fine. Yeah. But sometimes you just have to know what looks good. Yeah. And, and be able to execute on that. And then if they're so. not okay with that, you can give like a few options. That way you're right. not like going and to a store. And none of these options are wrong. Yeah, yeah when I go and like try see. to shop at a store, I'm like, what the heck? I don't know what to buy here. There's too many options. So if you just give a s s small classy options. I exactly. Yeah. Three yeah. options. They're all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're all good. Yeah. <laughs> they're all good options. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we replaced the windows, we replaced uh, all of the doors. Um, yeah. The whole house has been rewired. Um, okay. You know, added pot lights throughout. Yeah. Uh, added some really nice light fixtures where it made sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The kitchen, we actually yeah. put a lot. We we have less cabinetry than we originally did in yeah. here. Before they had cabinetry all away all along the side here. Yeah. And what it did is it just made going into the basement feel really tight. Yeah, because it would have impeded the walkway there, yeah, right? Yeah, that so turn it, it would have like halved really, it, right? Okay. Really yeah. narrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we turned it into a galley kitchen, streamlined it that way, and then we added this pantry here on the left. Oh, okay. So that's how you know it, it is a four bedroom. There's a house. lot of space in there. I saw. So yeah. That's exactly. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we um, have good quality cabinets, um, but we you can spend a lot of money on cabinets. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we get a, a more affordable cabinet, and then we dress it up with some some nice stone. Yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day, cabinets are essentially just a, a box, yeah. right? So yeah. Okay. Um, cool. One thing we did um, is we made sure that we got a, a countertop depth fridge okay okay so basically fridges come all different sizes right but if your fridge stuck out to here in yeah. this space it's going to serve to make this feel yeah really tight okay. so we got a wider fridge but it's uh narrower like it's not as oh, deep okay so the right? gables so you made like was that custom size yeah, gables yeah. We, too, then? well we, we made it but you see here how the yeah. countertop like it's kind of in line with the countertop yeah that was on purpose oh perfect so you can get a lot of different sizes of fridges um but most would stick out yeah. too far into this space. Yeah. So the whole idea when we designed it was to make it feel as open as possible yeah. and make this kitchen feel bigger. Yeah, so you had to custom design the gables like to, to size to yep. fit that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you cool. have to kind of have a plan with when you're doing a renovation yeah. and when you're yeah. designing something and basically it's having the experience to, to know what works yeah. and know how people live in their homes yeah. and then you can sort of design it based on that so yeah. yeah there's three bedrooms and a bathroom on this floor okay okay so um i'll take you into the master in a second but this is the the first okay. bedroom closet on the right hand side oh, yes okay yeah oh my god they really staged this like yeah. excellent beautifully right? staged really yeah they nice. do a phenomenal job yeah it's great so we i mean that's one thing that uh really helps with the sale of a home too yeah a lot of times people sort of have difficulty imagining um, what their stuff's gonna look like yeah. in a place. Yeah. So the staging is always, anytime we're, we're selling a property, we stage it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I like that you didn't put too many pictures on the wall, like you left a lot of the walls white because it just keeps it crisp. 100%, it's you know? about focal points, but it's also about negative space. Yes. Because you can make like this negative space room feel really small, really quickly. So this is a, a space that I think we're totally all awesome. really proud of. It turned I thought out, that was beautiful. Yeah, it turned out awesome, right? Very nice. And the reason it looks like this, remember in the countertops in the kitchen, how um, you mentioned like you like the handles. Mm -hmm. um, the handles were picked uh, in conjunction with the stone. So it's okay. got sort of like a gold fleck to it. Yeah. And then it gives it that tie in. Yeah, that's right? really cool. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So, so too with this, we're really intentional about our tile choice, mm -hmm. right? It's a very busy tile, but there's a lot of tones in it. 
So you can pull out the black from it. Okay. You can pull out the gold from it. Yeah. And that allowed us to uh, mix metals, which yeah. is always fun. Yeah, and then right? you've also done the uh, like the pictures and stuff to, to follow suit with that too, like pick up on the exactly. colors. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's very classily done. Yeah. You see how the tones in this yeah. sort of are picked up in the tile. Yeah. Um, everything sort of has a tie-in. I um, really like this though. Oh, it's so nice. The the shower. Oh my gosh, with the black? Yeah. Like that is so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. It turned out great. I mean, you can, for, for a room this size, yeah. I mean, if everything was gold, yeah. it would feel a bit much. That's a little gaudy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you're Donald Trump, maybe it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, last time I checked, I was never making that kind of money. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I like that you use the tile on both, which is great. Yeah, yeah it, it it's if, if, if it was different, I feel like it would um, make it a little bit, feel a little bit small. Yeah, it's cool. You guys, are, that's, this is really nice. I like it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I think I'm it a little bougie, great. so I like nice oh, yeah? things, yeah. right? Sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, okay, this is great. So I okay. guess we can, uh, yeah, did you want to show the other bedrooms? or? Sure. We can do that and then we'll head downstairs. Oh wow, there's so much light coming in here. Wow, and that side too. Yeah, this is nice too. This is a little bit of a bigger bedroom in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, also the flooring. Is it vinyl plank or is it, it is. just, okay. Yeah, it's luxury vinyl I, I plank. I thought so, because yeah. then you don't have problems with like water and things like that. So. 100%, yeah. Okay, luxury and vinyl. It's really interesting you touch on flooring. Like flooring it's is- It's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. And what it does is, it dates, uh, it puts like a timestamp on a renovation. Yeah, that's a good point because vinyl plank is like a newer thing. I don't know when Vinyl plank's a newer thing, but... Maybe more popular. I don't, it's probably been around for a while, but... Yeah, I, I mean, people were into laminates for a while, yeah. um, but they weren't... I mean, they've come a long ways, yeah. but for a long time, it wasn't... Uh, laminates weren't the best yeah. for water. Yeah. Um, but what I mean is um, the style of the floor. So for a long time, it was sort of like high gloss, dark uh, colors, like dark brown, but super high gloss. Yeah. So they get scratched pretty easily, but it kind of timestamps it. Like I can tell you exactly the sort of time frame when that was installed. Yeah, I like the thicker look to it. And I like the tiles in the bathroom that were thick too. And it's got a, so it's got a, a micro bevel to it. Okay. So it's actually got kind of a groove. So when you put it okay. together, yeah. it just makes it look more like real wood. Yeah. Right. No, it looks great. I, yeah, I wanted to touch on that because you guys did that like th through a lot of the house here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and yep. this, there's a lot of light coming in here too. This is beautiful. This is a big closet here you got too, right? Eh? Well, there's yeah, a couple there, things that we really did nice. yeah. in this to make it feel more like a master bedroom. Yeah. So what we actually did is there were two closets here. There was a closet for this room and then on uh, in the other room, there was a closet. Oh. We stole that closet. You stole the closet. For we stole here. the closet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. we tore out this wall, opened it up, and made this uh, um, like a master walk-in oh, closet. Okay. Yeah. So the two closets fused together. Basically. Exactly. Okay. So that was done really intentionally to yeah. make this feel more like a master. I mean, what makes this master, um, sorry, what makes this bedroom a master as opposed to any other bedroom yeah. when they're kind of the same size? You give it an amazing closet. And yeah. what we also did is added these pendant lights. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I wouldn't have thought to do that, you know? That's actually pretty cool. Because it's not a place you were gonna walk and hit it at all because of the, you know, the exactly. tables are there, so. No, it's exactly, cool. no, those, those uh, that and the closet, those were two things that really turned out well yeah. in this room. No, this is great. Right? It's sort of like a, an elevated night side table, yeah. right? No, it's cool, I really like it. Oh, that's nice. And the light in the closet's motion turns on automatically oh, as soon as you walk oh, in. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Cool. Well, I guess you want to head downstairs and show us what you did down there? Sure. Okay. So this space actually felt originally when we got down here like kind of a sort of a Bavarian pub. Like some, <laughs> like it was insane. Was there like a little bar there in the corner? There was corner? a bar, yeah. There was oh, a bar okay. right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was a bar. Um, there was uh, basically this styrofoam that was made to look like, um, sort of like spackling. Okay. And it was literally glued to the concrete wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had sort of these really interesting designs and it yeah. just felt very strange, kind of cool actually. Like but... a wacky Venetian plaster. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> like weird. Like really abstract. It was like orange carpet and you know, oh, okay. somebody just 
smoked down here and drank oh, down yeah. here. Probably had a ton of fun in this basement, oh, yeah. um, but it had to go. Yeah, so we ended up framing this um, basement completely. Okay. Um, so we did that for a couple of different reasons. Um, one of which was insulating the wall. Okay. Uh, and then it gave us a good platform to, you know, put new drywall up and. Yeah. Okay, so you basically ripped everything out everything and then out of framed this basement. it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's so new cool. HVAC runs, all new electrical, all new framing, insulation, vapor barrier, all that stuff. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, that's a yeah. lot then. Because you don't want like the last thing you want is a basement to feel sort of like moldy, damp, yeah. dark, and that's kind of how it felt a little bit. Yeah. So this allowed us. It to... It doesn't feel like that at all. In here. No. So well, we amazing. got lucky with the ceiling height. The ceiling yeah. height down here is amazing. Yeah. So it just needed you know a revamp, make it feel really neutral and and just open. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel like a basement at all. No, it no, feels it really great doesn't. down yeah. here. Exactly. And we picked up like a lot of what I was talking about upstairs, sort of with the um, the bathroom. We picked up a lot of the contrast too. Yeah. So I mean, here we chose a black light, right? It plays off some of the the natural wood and the the gold and sort of you know yeah. we switched it from upstairs type of thing. So yeah, yeah, works well with the I mean the color of the carpet, the color of the walls, like everything has a relationship. Yeah. Right. And that's one thing, like even with the light fixtures throughout the whole place, yeah. they all kind of feel like they fit together. Yeah. It's not some funky light fixture that's, whoa, like yeah. I wasn't expecting that. If you were to take them all off and line them up together, they all like kind of work. Exactly. Even though they're in different places. Yes. Yeah. I they just, feel like they are part there. of the same family. That was all intentional. They have yeah. a relationship. Yeah, exactly. And so too with all of the colors, all of the materials picked, they all kind of work together. So okay. there was originally a bathroom there, but in here there was a really small door and the bathroom went from about here to here. And there was a really tight little vanity and a toilet. Um, okay. And so what we realized is for a four bedroom house, you need a full, you need two full bathrooms, right? So if you've got, you know, your, your sort of master, uh, ensuite, it's not a true ensuite, it's more like a Jack and Jill because it's kind of off uh, off the master, but mm -hmm. this is the secondary one where all the kids can come. So, okay. who, you know, maybe there's a teenager living in that room. Yeah. They've got kind of their own full Yeah, or if like people space. come and visit. Or, right, yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could easily make this sort of a granny suite, right, with the oh, separate entrance. Oh, I was going to say that. And, yeah, because there's a separate entrance exactly. there. If they wanted to ward that wall off, if yep. somebody wanted yeah. to do that, they Easy could. Easy to do. Be, as a rental, as long as the zoning was good, right? Yeah. So yeah, here, I mean, we, we opted to tile the floor. Um, we didn't, you know, we didn't tile this. We thought this, around, this was right? good enough. Yep. For downstairs basement, it's still so classy, but it's a surround and you, exactly. just, put, you just put it yep. over, right? Okay, yep. yeah. No, it turned out really well. Oh yeah, and this is for towels and things, right? Yeah. I like those little elements too. Yeah, all yeah. the little details. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, there's a little bit of storage here too. That's great. And then storage in there. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. And thank you to your client for letting us, you know, showcase this house flip. And so mandatory on the show, you either have to do a dance or a handshake. What do you okay. choose? Uh, let's go handshake. Yeah? You yeah, it's, that? it's okay. funny that you know this handshake what, is it? what is it? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Side. Ah! Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you so Take much. Take care. That was awesome.